Like, this is stupid. This is idiotic. I have a friend named Travis who, whenever he's eating food, I'll be like, bro, does that taste good? He'll be like, stupid. I'm like, is, is that good? Stupid is a good thing. This is, this is unbelievably, stupidly amazing. This dude is on another level. So my name is Nathaniel Morton. I'm a sports performance coach and I specialize in basketball players. And in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the world record jump program by Christopher Spell, who at the dunk camp just hit a 50 inch running vertical jump and had a 46.5 inch standing vertical jump. Stupid! Today I'm going to be going through his program and telling you the pros and the cons, all the good stuff about his program, all the bad stuff about his program, and I'm not holding anything back. And I'm going to tell you whether or not you should invest your time, your effort, and your money into this program by Christopher Spell. Does he just have good genetics or is his training going to take your vertical jump to the next level? Let's find out. So a quick disclaimer, I actually bought this guy's program a few months ago, okay? And I didn't really read into it and look into it. I, I like to buy people's programs just to support them. So overtime athletes, knees over toes guy, I buy these programs to support them. I read them most of the time just to gain more knowledge and information, but I don't do their programs. I do my own programming. I have my own programs, my own programming, but I just like the support and I want to see people winning. So I have not read too much into this, but today we are going to do a deep dive. Here we go. The first positive that I want to point out is that he is a CPT. He is a certified personal trainer. So it's not just some Joe Schmo with great genetics who's naturally gifted and athletic giving you workouts. This is what I do to increase my vertical. No, he actually knows what he's doing. He is researched. He's had to take courses and classes on this stuff. He was also a division one football player, a D1 wide receiver. And this is very important right here. This is a huge piece of information that we need to pay close attention to. He says, I jumped 38.5 inches at my pro day in front of NFL scouts back in 2017. And now following this program, at the time of this writing, my personal record is 44.5 inches for the standing vertical jump and 46.5 for my max running vertical jump. He just at dunk camp had a 50 inch running vertical jump and he had a 46.5 standing vertical jump. That is super important because if he himself is following this training to this day, it means that even the most elites of the elite athletes could still get results from this program. So. I did look into a little bit. Beginners also are going to really increase the vert with this program, but if you are very elite, if I went through this program, I would see massive results from this program. So he has consistently increased his vertical jump even right now to this day where he has a 50 inch running vertical jump. So that is huge. Another positive about this program is that in the table of contents, we can see that he gives you much more than just a vertical jump program. That's what I love to do. If you're going to make a vertical jump training program, oh, over deliver on your promises. Don't just give people the exercises, the sets and the reps. Give them everything they need to know about nutrition, mindset, literally everything that they need to know to increase the vertical jump, which is what I do in my free vertical jump training program, which you can get right now if you comment jump, J-U-M-P down below in the comment section and subscribe to my channel. He gives you concepts of vertical jump, nutrition. He talks about rest and recovery, mental mindset. So he is over delivering on his promise. He is giving you much more information than just the simple sets, reps, and exercises that you should be doing to increase your vertical. So that's another positive. Concepts of vertical jump training. Vertical jump is lower body power. You've heard me talk about this on my channel a lot. Power equals strength times speed. If you get stronger and you get faster and more explosive, you have to increase your vertical jump. It's the laws of fit physics. You can't get stronger and faster and start to jump lower unless you get really fat and your body fat goes up and then your relative strength goes down. But anyways, if you get stronger and more explosive, you will increase your vertical jump. So he is teaching you how and why your vertical jump is going to increase. So give a fisherman a fishing rod. What's that saying? Give a man a fish, he eats for a day. Give him a fishing rod, teach him how to fish, he can eat for a lifetime. He is giving you 
the tools that you need to increase your vertical jump for a lifetime. Speaking of body fat and being overweight, here's his nutrition section where he talks about the overweight athlete. He talks about relative strength and how unwanted body fat can actually hinder your vertical jump. And if you lose that and you have lean muscle mass and you're lean and strong and explosive, that's obviously going to help you jump higher than if you are carrying around body fat. Put on a 50 pound weighted vest right now and try to jump higher than when you take it off. You can't. Eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight. For example, if you're 175 pounds, you should be eating 175 grams of protein every single day. Love it. Replace junk foods with nutrient dense foods. Stay away from fast food, alcohol, processed foods, saturated fats, eat more whole grain breads. It's, it's, this is the basics. All positives in his nutrition section. Techniques, this is one of the biggest positives about his program because if you want to instantly increase your vertical jump, the one thing that you could do is improve your jump technique. When we click the link right here, it takes us to a YouTube playlist where it has eight videos all around six to 10 minutes long on how to improve your jump technique. And I have watched these videos. These are very good videos. He gives you simple tips and tricks and little tweaks that you could do to improve your jump technique. And that can add inches on your vertical jump instantly instantly. Now we get into the meat and the potatoes of his workout program. So there's actually five phases of what he takes you through. Phase one is adaptation one, stability, core, strength, balance, and technique. This is where you're doing a lot of stability exercises, a lot of eccentrics, a lot of isometrics, a lot of easier exercises that should be in a phase one, a week one, day one of a program. The, the first workouts in a program should be foundational, easier workouts. You, so nothing against the lost breed. I love the lost breed. I love Josh Levitan, I love Ant Lugo, but week one, day one, in the Lost Breed program, they had hurdle jumps. No. Adaptation two is strength. This is very similar to my programs where I put you through a foundation phase. So the first phases that I get people into is a knee strengthening phase. Now, if an athlete comes to me and they say, I don't have any knee pain and I've been training for a while, then we can skip the knee pain phase and get into that. But never will I allow an athlete to skip the foundation phase. You need to build your way up to the exercises that are harder in my max strength phase. Adaptation three is recovery. And he gives you three days in a row of active recovery. This is sort of like a mini deload. Okay, so he's giving you a deload. So when you do these workouts in a vertical jump training program, especially when you do eccentrics and isometrics like he has you doing, your central nervous system is going to be fatigued. When you go through a deload and you allow your central nervous system to rest and recover, and he gives you these three days of recovery, after that, when your central nervous system is fresh, you are going to be jumping way higher and you are going to realize all of the results from the work that you just put in in his first two phases. Adaptation four is explosive strength and power. So now what we are going to do is we are going to take the strength that we've built, we are going to turn it into pure speed and explosiveness. So this is very similar to my speed strength phase. My first phase is my knee phase, okay? Then I have my foundation phase, then I have my max strength phase, then I have my speed strength phase and then my peaking phase. So we're building you up, we're getting you as strong as possible. Then we have to take all that strength that you built because everybody has seen the dude in the weight room who could squat four plates but can't jump over a jelly bean. Okay, so we take all that strength that we built, then we slowly turn, we go down in weight but we go up in explosiveness and rated force development and we turn that strength into speed and explosiveness and vertical jump. That's the same exact thing that he is taking you through here. So one great thing about his program is that the phases, the progressions that he take you through are very good and they are exactly what you need in a good vertical jump program. Adaptation five or phase five is max power output. And this is where you are doing a lot of sprints. He has a lot of box jumps in here. He has a lot of plyos in exercises that are going to take your speed and your explosiveness to the next level without frying your central nervous system. At this point, you've already fried your central nervous system. Now you're trying to reap the rewards of all the work that you've done. So this will be like my peaking phase and he's peaking you before the end of the program so that you could be jumping the highest possible by the end of his program. Let's very quickly talk about the exercises that he has in this program. He has all of the best exercises that are going to help you increase your vertical jump. A good vertical jump program should have the best vertical jump exercises. So that should already be a given. This 
does have body weight exercises, but he also is a fan of weights. You use weights in this program. This is a weight training program. So if you don't have access to weights, I wouldn't get this. But if you do have access to weights, then this could be a good program for you. We have broad jumps. We have depth jumps. We have a lot of jump technique. You are working on your technique a lot of the time. We have max vertical jumps, counter movement jumps, explosive hip thrusts. The exercises in this program and the sets and the reps that he gives you are good. So everything is good there. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to talk about the negatives. And there aren't that many, but there are a few negatives that I noticed with this programming. And there's there are no negatives with the programming itself. There's one tiny little one, and we'll talk about that soon. The negatives that I saw from this program had to do with the layout of the program and the confusion that I got when I read through the program. And if I'm getting confused, some of you are going to be confused when reading through this program, so let's clear it up before you get this program if you plan on getting this program. When I read through this program, I didn't see any rest days. I saw, actually I saw three rest days and that was the mini deload week. So I messaged him on Instagram, which I think you should follow him on Instagram, even if you don't plan on getting this program, it's very inspirational to watch this guy and he gives a lot of good content and advice on there. But I messaged him and I said, I didn't see any rest days. Do you really just never rest on your rest days? You just do jump technique or what do you do? He answered back, he said, no, the program is suggested at three times a week that you should be resting. And the program is meant to be taken at the athlete's own pace. This is good because not all of us recover in the same way. Some of us us recover very quickly. Some of us don't. Some of us need more of a rest in between workouts. I said, so for athletes doing your program, workouts three times per week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, is that a good schedule? He said, correct. That's the guideline. And then athletes can adjust as per what their bodies are telling them. So if your body is really sore and tired and fatigued and you feel sluggish, take an extra rest day. I also said, so tell me, what is the secret? How in the world do you have a 50 inch vertical jump? He said, the secret is a constant hunger to be the best, being strong, plyometrics, recovery, patience, sacrifice, and a little bit of genetics involved for 50 inches. Now, I wanna take a quick second just to talk about his genetics. Of course, Christopher Spell has insane, godly genetics. He is in the 99th percentile of people in the world. He has better genetics than most of us. However, there are probably many people with similar genetics to him that do not have a 50 inch vertical jump. I'm willing to bet that he is more consistent. He works harder than 99% of us as well, along with his good genetics. So genetics do play a factor, but if you argue for your excuses, then your excuses are gonna become real. So you have to just do the best with what you were given and push the limits and get better and better and better. And I'm pretty sure that most of you can get easily a 40 inch vertical jump with the correct strategy. The second con or negative that I noticed with this program was that he doesn't give you weight to use on most of the exercises. So he gives you the sets and the reps, but it says barbell deadlifts, five sets of three reps. And then he doesn't tell you any weight. He probably, being as it's probably the same as the rest days, take it depending on how your body feels, he probably wants you to use a weight that you are comfortable with and try to progressive overload, pushing your limits each time that you do it. But I would like for him to say that somewhere in the program so that we know what weight to use. But if I were you, I would try to progressive overload, getting stronger and more explosive each time that you do this. So just a little bit of a negative, but not huge. The last negative that I found with this program, which there, I could only find three cons to his program. I could only find three negative things about his entire program. That's pretty good comparing to all of the other programs that I did. There were a lot of cons, a lot of things that I would have done differently. There's only three here and they're, they're little small ones. So it is that there are no exercise demonstrations. So. Christopher Spell, if I were him, I would just quickly record a couple videos, add them to an unlisted exercise library on YouTube, like he did for his jump technique, and I would just make a list of exercise, and then I would link them in the program so that when people are going through the program, they could just click the exercises right there. It'll take them to an unlisted YouTube video on how to do that particular exercise. But he said that in the email I send out, I tell them to Google the exercises, and if they have trouble finding some, D DM me on Instagram and I'll show them the exercise. So I am against, I am against Googling. That's what the lost breed said. 
don't tell people to Google the exercises, but this is a chance to reach out and talk to Christopher Spell. And every single time that I DM'd him, he answered right away. And he has 40 some thousand followers on Instagram. He literally answered right away when I DM'd him. So if you're going through his program and you see an exercise that you don't know what that is, you can DM him right there. He's probably going to respond to you and show you what that workout is. But still, if I were him, I would just make a quick exercise library and so that people can click that right away when they're going through the workout. But ladies and gentlemen, that is it. So my final conclusion conclusions with this program are that this is one of the best programs that I have reviewed. And the reason that it makes it the best is because he literally said that he just had a 44.5 inch standing or, or running vertical jump. I forget what it was, but he had a vertical jump that is less than what it was a couple days ago at dunk camp. So he is still improving. And if he's still going through this program himself, if he's still doing his own programming, which he probably is, I do, John Evans, Isaiah Rivera, everybody does their own programming because we know what is the best for us. So. That is what makes this program so good, is that he is still using it to increase his vertical jump, and he's at 50 inches, 50. You know how insane that is? He's a world record holder, he was a division one athlete, he tried out for the pros, he is this, he's a certified personal trainer. He knows what he's doing, and he gives you the tools to increase your vertical jump and jump as high as you want to jump based on how much work you are willing to put in. So if I were you, I would get this programming. I highly recommend it. Give him a follow on Instagram. But those are my conclusions and that is it for this video. If you want to get his program, I will link it down below in the description of the video. If you don't have any money and you want a free body weight program, comment, jump down below, subscribe to the channel. Other than that guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace. Young D Smo from the East Coast. A young kid with a West Coast feel. And I don't even know how the West Coast feel. I'm from where it's cold. The city made a steal where a lot of niggas fold. Only couple keep it real right. Back still, keep it real tight. Keep two L's just like Cool J. My heart's cold as Ice Cube. Praying it's a good day. I'm at a crossroads, but in a good way. I got money on my line.